Hey there, this is day 12 of the Linux Upskill Challenge. Today you're going to transfer files. There are various ways to do that, but today I'm going to show you three little programs that can help you. SFTP, FileZilla, RSync. So the first one, SFTP, FTP is File Transfer Protocol. SFTP is using SSH to transfer files. We start with S. FTP and since we're using a private key for authentication on our SSH connections I'm going to use that identifier and then we can then put the user and the host name it's going to show us that it's connected and then a different prompt it's not the same prompt that we have when we use the SSH directly you're going to have to have pretty clear what is local and what is remote if we want to check what is remote, we can use the commands as they usually are, like pwd, remote working directory, home Ubuntu. But if I want to check locally, it's just put an L in front of it to stand for local, lpwd, my home directory, local, local, remote. So with that in mind, we can use ls to check the list of files inside my remote server and lls to list my local directory. We're here to transfer files, so let's start with uploading some local files to our server. Put our local file into our server. If I just leave it there to my home Ubuntu, so if I give a ls to see in my remote, here we are, the local file was uploaded. So if I want to download, I can use get server file and I'm going to put it in here, here we are, server file is on my local. If I want to upload or download several files at once, I can use M for multiple, but I want everything that is a file and I'm going to put it up there. It's using the, another file, the local file, the server file are all up there now. I'll give it ls. And if I want to download several files, I'll use M for multiple get everything that is another. I'm fetching another file that is something that I already have and another server file something I did not have and here we are exit and we're done. So but if I want to do that with a nice GUI a nice interface and I want to click on things there is FileZilla if I just want to log in I can just put the host the username, the password, and the port, the usually it is for FTP 21 and quick connect. This is one of the options, but we need to set up the SSH authentication. So let's go to edit settings here in connection, go to SFTP. I'm going to add my key file on my key file, added the key file here, import it, open SSH key and OK. We set it up, the file, let's set up the connection. File, Site Manager, we can create a new site here. This is for my Linux Upskill Challenge. This is a SFTP, the host is this guy. The port is 22 for SSH. Logon is normal, user Ubuntu. And we can set this up. And when we connect, we can use it here. It's going to request if you want to always trust. Yes. Ta-da! So here we are. Listing directory is seeing my local site and my remote site. The same thing that we're doing on the SFTP. If I want to transfer files here, I can literally just select the files that I want and drop whatever I want. Uh-huh. And same thing on the other way, I can just select and drop. Done. FileZilla, super easy. If I want to cancel the connection, there's this little guy here. And now the last one, the rsync. rsync is, is a different program from the other two. We're selecting files and transferring them. But with rsync, you can just do incremental you only copy what's different or just a part of your files and you can automate that with a Chrome job if you want. 
So I have here on the local dir few files. Let's sync, remote sync those files with the remote dir that we have on the server. So you can use R sync. And I'm using, again, the authentication from SSH. I can add these parameters as SSH. Dash I. What I'm saying here, I'm asking to rsync to execute this command so I can have the access to my server. And after that, I want to, I want it to archive and being verbose about it for my local dir to transfer to Ubuntu my host name and column remote dir. That is our directory up there. And here we are. It's sending incremental file list. It sent another file, another server file, local file. Exactly that list of files that we have inside local there. So I opened the server so I could see that the same files from local there. So let's make this interesting now. I want to create another directory inside my directory. And now I'm going to sync that with my remote directory using recursive, R as recursive. So it can also receive everything that is inside the directories, inside directories of the directory that I'm syncing up. And here we are, we send an increment of a sub -tier. And if we check here, aha, here we are. I created another file locally and I want this to, I mean to sync up this to my remote server and here we are. So every time I change something it's not going to upload everything that is inside the directory, it's going to check what is different and then upload it. But now one little thing, we use it, this guy here with a trailing slash at the end. That means that I want to sync everything that is inside the folder to the remote folder, but not the folder itself. If I change this, I'm going to copy everything that is inside the local dir and the local dir. Let me show you the difference. What we have here so far is a remote dir and the sub dir. If I take out the trailing slash, local dir was entirely inside the remote dir. But let's say that I just changed this file here. I put some information inside this file, so now it does have a different size. I want to only update the files, so I'm going to use u. Here we are, one more file. It's big now. I have a bunch of files to upload, but I, I want to double check if it's going to work. I can just do a dry run. It's not going to execute the program, but it's going to give me a good idea of what is going to happen. Here, dry run, and this is the file that is going to upload. I have a big file that I want to transfer. I want to check, I want to see the progress of that. So I'm going to use a capital P, here we go. Nice. Nice. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.